Hello guys and welcome back to Lead Logics. This is the split link list but in parts problem from Lead Code and the number for this is 725. So in the given problem we have a head of a singly linked list and an integer k and we have to split the linked list into k consecutive linked list parts. Now the length of each part should be as equal as possible and there should be no two parts having a size difference more than one because this may lead to some part being null and the parts should be in order of the sequence in the input list and the parts occurring earlier should always have the size greater than or equal to the parts coming later so the problem is that we have to split the linked list into k parts such that all the past parts are as equal as possible and if there are some parts which are not equal then it should come in the uh, like before it should come earlier in the order so the goal is to achieve multiple parts and we will try it without using the extra space and by modifying the input link list itself so what we are going to do the first step will be that we can first of all we will define the length of the linked list so we will iterate through the linked list try to find the size of the linked list then in the next step since we have k and now we have the length now we will determine uh, what will be the size of each part of the now we will identify what will be the each part size so for the, this example the length will be 3 and k will be 5 so how we will do 3 integer division 5 so when you 3 integer divide by 5 it will become 0 so we add a plus 1 so we suppose that will be the we suppose that will be the size of one particular element or part now let's see this for other example as well suppose for this we have a size equal to 10 and k equal to 3 so when we do integer division 10 divided by 3 will get 3 and since we have 10 mod 3 equal to 1 that means one part will have one element more than the other two parts so okay this is how we are going to do this so how each part will have a minimum size of size mod the integer division k and the first size mod k parts will have one extra elements so this is how we are going to think of the logic and in the last part we have to split the list now so how we are going to do we will initialize a list node answer of size k to store the resulting parts and for each part we calculate till the size like we go till the first uh, size division by the k and we take that part we put it into the list node and then we put it into the answer and similarly we can do it for all the elements and then at the last we can return the return the array so let's come to the uh, example suppose we have this example 1 to 10 and k equal to 3 so first we have to determine the length of the linked list so we traverse the linked list entire linked list so we get the length 10 in the next step what we do we calculate the size of each part so the base size of each part will be 10 mod 10 divided by 3 that is 3 and since we 10 mod 3 equal to 1 that means one part will have of a length of 4 so the sizes of the parts are 4 3 3 and now we have to split the list into parts so since the first part had four elements and the next had three elements so we'll put the first four elements in the part one and the rest three three in the part two and three and similarly we are going to create an array and result and return it as a result so now let's come to the coding section but before that do make sure that you like the video share it to your friends and subscribe to the channel if you're new to the channel so the first step is to create a list node answer equal to new list node now 
now then we have to calculate the size of the linked list so we'll take it as head and while current not equal to null we do a size plus plus current equal to current dot next now we have to since we have calculated the length now we have to determine the length of each part that we are going to divide into so it will be size divided by k and we also have to calculate the remaining ones so remaining parts equal to size mod k now the steps remaining are for the division into parts so we'll take again the current equal to head and a list node previous equal to current now we'll iterate for int i equal to 0 i is less than k i plus plus now we have to create the ith part so list node new part equal to current and int will take a current size also to make sure it is less than the now if num remaining parts is greater than zero So we'll do num remaining parts minus minus current size plus plus then we'll take a g equal to zero and y j is less than current size is a variable what we'll do previous equal to current current equal to current dot next so we move ahead in the linked list and we'll do a j plus plus and when we'll reach till the end we have to cut off the linked list so previous if not equal to null previous dot next equal to null and answer of i equal to new part and after this we can return the answer so let's check if it runs so it runs fine let's try to run for the hidden test cases as well okay runs fine with the for the hidden test cases as well with a good time complexity and a good memory complexity so let's talk about the time complexity as well so the time complexity for this solution is O of n but, uh, we are uh, traversing the entire array to calculate the length that operation is taking O of n time and then dividing it into further parts takes another O of n so the time complexity remains O of n and 
the space complexity is ideally O of uh, 1 because we are dividing it without using any extra space but since we have to return the answer so the space complexity becomes O of k this O of k is being used to return the answer not to calculate it so this is the complexity analysis I hope you understood the logic do like the video share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you are new to the channel thank you for watching the video have a nice day